It's time to get your medical questions answered live. Dr. Zorba Pastor is standing by to take your questions. The number to call is 270-9933. And let's begin with John from Madison. Hi, John, what's your question? I'd like to know um, when you're wearing a mask uh, and breathing in more carbon dioxide, um, does that put more stress on your lungs? Thank you. Uh, the answer, the answer is no. Uh, if you have COPD and you need oxygen, you can't necessarily put on a mask because you have those prongs in your nose that you may do. You see people walking around it who have severe emphysema. But for the rest of us, no, we get rid of the carbon dioxide very easily. It comes out the sides of the mask, the top of the mask, and it is just fine. It's no problem. It steams up my glasses, though. <laughs> yeah. That's a problem. Steams up your glasses. There we go. <laughs> right. Marilyn from Madison. Hi, what's your question? Hello. Hi, what's your question, Marilyn? Um, I'm calling about anger. I want to know what you can take as a vitamin to control the anger or food you can eat that's got to be a vitamin or a mineral or something sure. that can help. Sure. Well, I, I have some good recommendations for people who have anger management problems. And the answer is antidepressants. They are remarkable drugs. And there are many people who have anger management issues who take antidepressants and all of a sudden the small things that don't bother most of us, that bother people who often get angry, have a loose fuse and get really upset, do not get upset nearly as much. So antidepressants are really good. I don't know of any vitamin, mineral, or food that will actually do it. The other thing I think that's important is anyone who is drinking or smoking weed should stop drinking and should stop smoking weed because that can be a big issue for people who have anger issues. Yeah, a lot of people are struggling with right. anger. Yeah. Right and of course, now. there's always counseling. Yeah. Very important, especially during a time like this if you're upset. Yep. Okay, let's go to Maria from Madison. Hi, Maria, what's your question? Oh, my question is, I know Dr. Zorba mentioned wear a mask and to protect, being a good citizen, protecting others from getting it in case you have it, because we have not tested. Nobody is, you know, because the testing is not so efficient yet and available. So what if somebody has walked and coughed and it's in the air, it can live in the air for so many hours. So instead of my protecting somebody else, people generally are thinking, they can just get it walking in the air. It could be in the in the air. Then that's what most of us are wearing a mask to protect ourselves from not getting it from somebody else, and not the way Dr. Zober Zoba is mentioning. Well, I actually. Know. Actually, you get it from droplets. So it really does not last in the air for that long at all. And that's why social distancing of six feet can really make a difference. It doesn't stay in the air. Now there are some in a, in a closed situation, for instance, for tuberculosis and measles, they can stay in the air for very long periods of time, but COVID does not appear to stay in the air. It does stay on surfaces, which is why it's very important to wash down surfaces and keep the surfaces clean because that's where COVID tends to live on the surface. So if you meet somebody on the street, just give them, give them some six no, feet. No, not unless give, you're give too them. close, they sneeze in your face, you don't have a mask on. And once again, the mask will not reduce it to zero, but it's kind of like wearing a seatbelt. It doesn't reduce your risk of an accident to zero. It just reduces your risk of getting it in the first place. All right. Okay. Let's go to Teresa in Madison. Hi, Teresa, what's your question? Yes, thanks for taking my call. I have a question, um, washing our hands and sanitizing and whatnot, but when you're out and about, and you have plastic gloves or whatnot on. Should mm -hmm. you wear those or not? Uh, I think wearing plastic gloves is a good idea. When you're out and about and doing things, doesn't hurt. Once again, it keeps your hands really cleaner and freer. Get a little pocket sanitizer. You know, you can make your own. Uh, there are a lot of things on the web. Equal parts, 100% alcohol with vodka actually will make a 70% mixture if you can't buy it. Although I've noticed that the grocery stores now do have hand sanitizer in them. But just use it on gloves. Better than using it on your hands. Gloves are superior. Yeah, just, just don't touch your face, right? That's right. Okay. Don't touch your face. <laughs> well, okay. I gotta wait till I get on. Let's go. Is that, there's Russell. Hi, You're Russell. <laughs> go ahead. Hello. Go ahead. <laughs> I have a question for Dr. Pastor. Um, sure. I watch the news all the time about this COVID-19, and I see everywhere they're spraying um, uh, some type of chemical sanitizers or mm -hmm. disinfectants in subways and medical facilities and everything. I'd like to know what they're spraying. What is that good, compound, good, and is it available question. for somebody in a home? Good question. 
and I don't have the answer. <laughs> I don't have the answer. I don't know what they're spraying. Different things in different environments, but I don't know what the spray actually contains. So you stumped me. <laughs> all right. We'll look it up. We'll find out. All right, Zorba, thank you. Thank you all for calling in. Lots of questions as yeah, usual. As always. Zorba, thanks for your time. We appreciate Thanks, it. We'll guys. see you again soon. My pleasure. We'll be right back with a final check of your forecast.